To draw meshes in Rive, you need to know a few things about meshes. Let me show you. The first thing you need to know is how to draw a mesh in Rive. For that, select the image and here in the inspector, you can see the option Create Mesh. Click in this option and that's it, you have a mesh. You can see this square with the vertex, this uh, white dot. You can see the edges, that is the lines to connect the different vertex. And in this case, you can see two triangles. And all this is the topology of the mesh. And the topology of the mesh define how the deformation works. So, the key to creating a good mesh is create a good topology to help the deformation. Now, let's see how you can draw a mesh. For that, you can use the option New Contour. Now, you can add vertex to draw the mesh. In this case, I'm going to use uh, each corner of this queue as a reference to add the different vertex for this mesh. Here and close. And that's it. Now we have a mesh according with this design. One thing I'm going to do is check how works the deformation. So I'm going to select these three vertex to move the back of the queue. And when I move this, you can see that the deformation is not the deformation we expect because this part is moving with the vertex. And this is because the topology, you can see here this edge and this edge, how they form this part. So to fix this, what we need is add more vertex to define the volume of this cube. And in this case, I'm going to add a new vertex here in this corner. Now, you can see that uh, with this new vertex, the topology changed. We have more edges and more triangles. And one thing interesting is that we have one edge in this position, another here, and another here. And this is perfect for this design. Now, when I check the back of the queue, you can see that the deformation is the deformation we want. But if I want to add a new vertex here, when I try to move the back of the queue, you can see that the deformation is not working again. And this is because this new vertex create more edges and triangles and affect the rest of the queue. To avoid this, you can use four edges. Four edges for the topology to work in one way, in the way we want. So what we're going to do here is add a four edges here and another here to save the rest of the mess. So using the P key, I'm going to click in the vertex. I want to add the four edges, and here you can see this blue line. This is the four edges. And I'm going to click in the next vertex. Now you can see that this edge is different of this, and this is because this is the four edge. I'm going to do the same from here to the next vertex, and in this part too. Now, if I want to add a new vertex here, you can see that this new vertex create new edges and triangles, but don't affect the rest of the mesh. And if I want to move the back of the cube, you can see that the deformation works without problems. Okay, so this is one way to use four edges, but there is other way to use. In this case, I have this mesh, and if I want to move this vertex, you can see how works the deformation. But if I want to move this vertex, you can see that the deformation is different. And this is because this edge. So the other way to use for edges is to change the topology. So I'm going to add a four edge here. And now when I move this vertex, you can see that the deformation is better. And that's it. This is all. I hope this video helped you and see you in the next.